Hi guys, I uh, haven't done anything with the, the rework uh, machine for a couple of months probably now so I thought it was about time we, uh, we took a look at this uh, Altec PC410 which will be the, the next stage. I will replace that Rec C100 with uh, this programmable uh, version uh, and that will take us you know, to the next level in building this rework station i just thought uh, you know anyone new to this might like to see what the uh, uh, the pc410 looks like uh, close up and uh, that's the the front I'll, I'll power this up in a minute i have just connected it to the mains and uh, i've popped a thermocouple on there um, but as I say, this is programmable, unlike the Rex, where you can only you know set the temperature. This one you can have a set temperature, and there's a number of steps. I think uh, well, we'll cycle through it in a minute. But there's seven or eight or nine different steps. So you can say set a temperature of 50, it will attain that, and then you can have a dwell time a couple of minutes perhaps at that temperature and then it will click on to the next stage which may ramp it up to say 80 degrees and you might want to dwell on that for a minute or whatever. Um, all the profiles are readily available on the internet and uh, obviously you can set the temperature and uh, dwell times and things like that and this will just step through them uh, up to you know your reflow temperature or whatever it is that uh, you set and are, are using this for. Uh, but we've got process value at the top, set value here, and uh, you can see here if uh, if the system's working and heating. I think it. Well, actually, if you're going through the automated process, I think this run uh, LED will be lit. Uh, the three segments here signify cooling down, a dwell, and uh, increasing the temperature. This is the uh, the step number that you're on. Uh, PTN I'm not sure of at the moment but <laughs> unfortunately the instructions that come with this are in Chinese so most of, most of my information has come from the, uh, the internet so I'll have to look up exactly what that is. Um, you've got output 1 and output 2 on this. Uh, if we look uh, underneath here you can hopefully see that output 1 is logic so that will drive a solid state relay so I won't need to modify uh, this one like I did with the, the Rec C100 and uh, output 2 is uh, for uh, a normal relay so uh, we've got the best of both worlds hopefully uh, on this uh, I'm assuming both of those are actually uh, you know fitted to, uh, to this particular one uh, you can see from here that the uh, the input is K-type thermocouple. The range it can handle is 0 to 400 degrees. Um, we've also got comms RS232, so you can actually link this to your PC, laptop or whatever and uh, and control this and program it, I believe, uh, as you see on the, the uh, professional rework stations. Um, the other things we've got on here guess com is going to flash when your PC is communicating with this. Why won't that focus? Hang on a sec. There we go. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, time, not sure what that does. MV, not sure what value that is. Manual, set value, light, alarm one and out, out one and out two LEDs. So yeah, it's pretty um, pretty comprehensive. I haven't worked this out yet. I've only plugged it in and turned it on once. You've got other buttons if that will focus. You've got other buttons there for run, position set, various things. I think that bottom button acts as a shift key allows you to access the upper um, functions on these buttons. Um, all of the connections are very clearly labelled on the back. Now again, it's like the Rex C100, I can't guarantee that all of these are exactly the same as all of the other versions. Um, if you buy a PC410, it may be wired differently. Uh, so, you know, do check the, the wiring diagram uh, that's on yours and certainly don't go by anything I'm saying because it may well be different. Uh, in this particular case, we've got uh, mains, AC, 
between 100 and 260 uh, it's happy with. I've just popped a uh, mains lead with a plug on the end just to uh, fire this up. Uh, we've then got the output uh, 1 and output 2. Uh, you can see the communications here. Thermo, I'm trying to do this close up with my glasses on and off. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the input thermocouple input there, and again, I just push the thermocouple in. It's the one I used on the other videos, just that old uh, rod type one. And uh, you can also see if this is in a rework uh, station, you have, if I can focus it again you have got run and stop so you can actually connect buttons push buttons up to this to start and stop the automated process so yeah it's uh, it's pretty, pretty good uh, it seems to cover everything and this is certainly what is used on all of the Chinese made uh, rework uh, systems that I've seen um, sometimes two of these uh, depending on whether you've got upper and lower uh, infrared and uh, upper hot air uh, and lower hot air. Actually, I've seen another system recently that seems to have the uh, upper and lower infrared plus hot air. Um, so I think if this had two of uh, two of these and one Rex C100 style uh, unit involved. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this, I'll just fire this up and you can see it go through its startup sequence. That's how it powers up. Um, if I just touch the thermocouple, I think that uh, will go uh, will go up. Yeah, which it does. Now I'm pretty certain there is uh, not really a, a profile uh, preloaded. I think you have to go through the steps of entering um, everything. But let's uh, let's see. Let me see the run button on. Where is it? I'll look at this in the LCD of the camera. So if I press that shift and run, yeah, it will now click and uh, it now thinks it's going through a, a process. So you, I don't know whether you heard the click, but so obviously output two uh, has uh, clicked and that I think was the relay for output two and output one is uh, pulsing and uh, if I uh, connect my meter to it in a second, uh, hopefully we'll see uh, five volts appearing on that uh, output. Uh, so it's on step one, the system is running and the temperature should be increasing. Uh, the set value is, well there is no proper set value, uh, I think it's just put that in. Uh, all on its own and the process value is 21. So let's see what happens if I actually increase that to 22. I wonder what will happen. Yeah, nothing, I don't know. I think we've got to set this up uh, properly. But obviously there's a, t uh, you know, a time factor involved here at uh, how long it wants to take. Uh, you know, you can set the ramp value as well, so if you want one degree per second I think that is all programmable uh, as uh, as well. Um, don't I don't know what this PTN is. I'll have to look that up. So I think what we'll do now is uh, just have a look at the output two. Sorry, output one, which is flashing, and that should be on pins uh, six and seven, uh, which is those two. I'll just see if we can get this on camera. I'll just put the meter across pin 6 and 7 and see what we get. Just have a look at that again. 6 and 7. So I think that's those two there. Right, out one is logic. to be looking at pin 5 for a negative and then 
seven. So let's just try that, see if we get that on five and seven. Five and seven. Nope. Uh, maybe I'm not looking at this correctly. I was expecting that. So we look at pin 8 is ground, so if we look at 8 and 7. Yeah, it's still nothing. Okay, a bit more reading to do there perhaps then. Yeah, don't know if any of you guys have already got one of these and have to come across this video. Tell me why output 1 is not producing a, uh, a voltage. Now, strangely, that's now stopped flashing. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure this is just pilot error and I don't know what I'm doing with it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you uh, uh, know how to operate this. Obviously, I'll have to research it more on the, uh, on the internet. But I just wanted to show anybody how this fires up and... Uh, how I thought, uh, output uh, one, uh, hang on a second, no, oh, it's my, my mistake, I'm on the wrong. Six and seven is output two, which is the relay, of course. I actually need to look at pins four and five. So let's try that again. Four and five, there we go. And uh, strangely, we have a 26 volt output. I wonder why it's been done that high. Sorry, you can't really see that. Yeah, I'm looking at pins uh, 4 and 5, and uh, let's say we have pulsing 26 volt supply. I'm assuming that light is now flashing on and off. I think I probably pressed something accidentally on the front because it's uh, doing all sorts of weird things at the moment. You just fire that off and back on. There we go. Let me just press the, what I assume is the shift and run key. Relay clicks. Output one pulsing. So let me just check. Pin four and uh, five again. Yeah, that's pulsing now. And very quickly, I can't even get a reading. So with that pulse supply on a solid state relay, I'm expecting we're going to get a much better uh, control of the element. Uh, again, I need to research this, but that would be my idea with the, uh, the relay either on or off. I found on the Rec C100 the control wasn't uh, uh, quite as good. Of course there's, you can set under an overshoot on this uh, as you can on the Rec C100 I think. I uh, haven't got around to doing that yet. I uh, just wanted to show you a, you know, a quick look at this. Anyway, so that's it, and uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you've got uh, an English user manual for this, otherwise I'm just going to have to research this on the internet like uh, everybody else has had today. Alright, more later, thanks a lot.